Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby, and today we're going to play Echo of the Wilds. Now, uh, this game is kind of like a RPG type of story-driven narrative type of game. You know, ones where you kind of make your choices, you know, there's good stuff and bad stuff that can happen. This is my first time ever loading the game, and honestly, I, I can't tell you if this game's good or not. We just have to find out together. So let's go ahead and do this. Begin the path of discovery, learn to walk in these wilds. My face is covering up a bit of it, and um, hopefully it doesn't cover up too much, because I don't know where to position my camera. Greetings, unenlightened one. Allow me to dis uh, depose all doubts by revealing the secrets of self-subjugation, so subjection, and survival. All journeys must begin with a single step. Now prove to me you are capable of grasping beyond mere initiative. Okay, so walk left and walk right. Got it. So that's this is the tutorial. I'm like some glowing figure that is, I don't know, electrified, something like that. You appear worthy, but you must not be idle. That which, um, that which you seek lies beyond reach, so gather pace, show me strides. Okay, so that's running. Oh, let me move my mouse out of the way. Steady, running drains stamina, especially in hot climates. Your heart gauge reflects physical hunger and fatigue. Whoa, so looking at the bar down there, you can see on the bottom left, it's some kind of like um, weather thing on the bottom here. Stamina, health, and on the bottom right, air? I don't know. So is this like a survival game too? While your water gauge reflects thirst and vitality. But if either has nothing left to offer, your time may be over. Luckily, the wilds team with goodies to restore energies. Go and uh, go take a slathering munch on my delicious plummy fruits. Sure thing. Okay, so munch on it. Inspect. Press up to inspect. Juicy, uh, juicy, succulent, sweetly delicious, yummy plummy fruits. So, okay. So we got three different options. We can close it, use, or take. Um, I'm guessing at the bottom where this thing is is the tree and the top part is probably my inventory So I'm gonna go ahead and just press use. I don't want to take it. So I'm using it. He ate it. Mmm, plumly yummily, mmm, in my mouth. But not every goodie is offered so easily. Some resources can only be collected by using tools built by your fair hand. Such gear building knowledge can weave into your will by just bestowing reverence to alters devotive of the wilds. So I can go over here and learn more about the wilds. Being an enlightened soul, I already know such bushcraft, <laughs> but knowledge is worthless without a capacity for action. Combine it with wildly resources to further your path. Now use this wealth. Build an axe and smite this weakly tree. Okay, so what's this? Pick up. So, um, this is a stone. And can be shaped into a variety of stony tools. So we take that, and we take this woodly, this, uh, bits of woodlet. Now, um... Dock it? Dock it? What's dock it? Dock it. Okay. Mm hmm. Um, so there's three different options here. And I guess we'll, I, I think we need to do this one. With the right knowledge and items, I can make all manner of useful tools and gear, craft them, and they'll be mine. So let's see. So these are all the stuff that I know I can build. Something like a fishing rod. And then on the right, it says what I need. And the first choice I have is this chopper, this axe, so they call it a chopper. And it says right there, I need um, stone and woodlets, which I already have. I could press the S, they gave me an option to forget it. Why would you want to forget it? Maybe there's like so many different things that you have to decide what you want to keep in your inventory of knowledge. And then, you know, you have to make room for stuff. That's what I'm guessing. Otherwise, I don't know why you would have to forget stuff. So let's go ahead and make it. Let's not accidentally press the forget key. So, ooh, I'm in an axe. Crafted and now mine, it be a splooey stone axe. Now, uh, I noticed after I, cr after I crafted it on the bottom, my little health meter went down a little slightly. So, I guess you have to really choose what you have to do, your priorities, and um, honestly, I wasn't expecting this. I thought it was like a super narrative type of game where you're just going to go through lots and lots of dialogue and figure out, you know, who you can trust, all that stuff. But it looks like there's a bit more, a little bit of don't starve in there. For the, for the most part, anyway. Okay, so we're gonna inspect. Oh, use item. Um, choppy, choppy, choppy. Um, S to use. Oh, that's a big axe. Metaphorically, of course. Bravo! You are almost ready to roam. Now, I do hope you notice the sundial below churning into nightfall's grasp. On the bottom left, right? 
traveling between places passes celestial time, but once arrived, its advances are locked for leisurely explor exploration. Ex uh, however, the wilds hold manifold hazards, where a spiritly, where a sprightly step is desired, figuring all out alone is the true test. It's getting a lot more darker. Now, unseal your mind map and reach beyond this cage of teachings. Explore and discover your echo of the wilds. Good, what a gay, uh, pretty good tutorial. Oh, okay, I don't want to run. Don't want to run. Let's just move on. So, oh, I admire your explos uh, explorative urges to uh, go boundaries, but you must master fundamental functionings first. What? It told me to leave, didn't it? Okay, so let's open my docket. And then I guess we have to choose this one. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, I get to scout one of these. This is weird. Okay, we'll scout this. Goodbye again. So that, okay, so the first option is a new area to go. Okay. Uh, begin the path, learn to walk, step into the spiritual story, a journey in search of solace, endlessly survive. Oh, okay, so I'm back in the main menu. So here's what I'm getting. I'm guessing this, uh, the, the first um, little thing I chose was the tutorial. And this is going to be the story. This is endless mode and uh, change controls and game settings to your fast and your will. So let's go ahead and go into story mode. Cool. Day 500. Begin your spiritual journey into the wilds of discovery. Now, what does it mean by day 500? Is do I start on day 500? Choose your true self, man or woman. Well, let's just go with man. I can't choose my name. What is this madness? Okay, so hope you guys enjoy. Um, I I'm gonna have fun. Yeah, great golly goshing. Are you are you a ghostly? Who's talking? Oh, I guess I'm talking to that ghost. Oh dear, you don't appear to remember my face, do you? What a pity. Sorry, no, I don't remember. Wait, how did I even reach these forests? Can you show me a way out of here to home? Home isn't important right now. The grasping cold gloom of night descends upon us. Your only priority is survival. Grab the blue spiny plants and use them to tear apart a small tree, then bathe in the cozy, protective glow of fire. So that, okay. Oh my, I'm hallucinating. All right, so inspect. Uh, these berries sure look and smell delicious. Now, I don't know if it's, okay, so what I'm getting out of this, it's of course survival, you choose what you want to do, priorities, all that good stuff. Does it have a roguelike element? Are you going to die that quick by eating the wrong berries? Oh, maybe eat a poisonous mushroom, make the wrong step, and you fall into a pit trap. I don't know. So it's going to be really, really fun to explore all this stuff. Anyway, we're going to take this. We don't need to eat it. So we inspected that, let's move on. And we do have the option to sprint, but that, that you know, wastes a lot of our um, our heart energy. Don't want to do that at all. Okay, so there are a lot of fatty spines here. Um, they can make a, pris a primitive saw capable of felling the wimpest of trees. So we'll definitely take all these. Okay, so let's see. I do not know how to make anything. And my inventory is pretty much full. Um, yeah, my inventory's full. I have only these things and this. If I, okay, I'm gonna eat one of these. Okay, cool. My health and my water, my liquids seem to went up. Okay. Use item. Oh, these are the primitive saws. So this is a primitive saw we can use to cut a tree while I think it might have a one-time use. Oh, it's shattered to smithereens. Oh, I guess we have to use more than one then, huh? So not only is it, you know, really, really crappy to use, but it breaks. And that's why they gave me a lot of them. I was wondering, because I was, you know, like, do I, like, there we go, we broke it. With wood in hand, it's time to kindle a cozy fire and doze beneath the glitter gaze of the shimmer starlights. But tomorrow, it's time for answers. So yeah, like I said, this is the story mode. And, um, okay, he just made a fire right on its own. What's this? Heart? And fire? What is going on? Okay, okay. Gah! You'll want a bigger bonfire to stave away the worst of the chills each night. Two woodlets should do you grand. Were you looming over me the whole night? Watching me sleep? I'm with you always. 
It's how I know you have questions. And in time, the echoes of your heart will answer them. Echoes of my heart? Look, you're not making any sense. Let's just start with the basics. Who exactly are you? I'm you, of course. A mind splinter seeking closure. I can change my appearance if you disapprove of this form. Oh, okay, stop. So you're me, of course, and I'm you? Talking to a ghost me in the weird forest? This is insane nonsense. Perhaps, but I never said you weren't insane. Now, go explore these woodlands for food to sustain your body and wood to burn your campfire bright each night. So, okay. In insane? Nah, I'm just tired. Yeah, that's it. Tired and quite peckish. Alright, so we wake up the next morning. We're a little bit, um, it's the next morning. And, um, we have to survive each night with fire. At least that's what the ghost is giving me hints towards. Um, especially with the big hint, the, numer the numeric, um, requirement, which is two woodlets should do me fine. Let's roam to the left, shall we? Inspect. Pick up. Pick up uh, tufts of leafy foliage, beginning uh, begging to be campfire martyr. So we'll take that, I guess. I mean, why the hell wouldn't we take this up? And then uh, this is wood, piece of wood here. And then uh, let's see, we finish breaking that. Inspect. Pick up. Ah, oh, there's more stuff here. Hand bits of woodlets. Oh, inventory is really packed. Um, I think what we should do is drop this. I mean, we are at our camp, right? So I think we can drop this stuff here. Um, yeah, let's just drop everything. And hopefully it stays here when we come back. So, running to the left. Okay, my cozy home camp. When in darkness the sands is here, I can shelter in its snugly embrace. Okay, so this is my home. And then the, okay, this place I know. So, let's see. So, I have to come back here when it's almost darkness. Am I here yet? No, I'm not here. So, we're going to travel there. Whoa! Oh my god. Whoa! The art style in this is crazy. Pixelated as it is. I was expecting this to be, um, this, you know, crazy-ish. Alright, so we, we left and we have our inventory space here. We're gonna grab all these again. I think this is a good chance to, uh, chop down that tree over there. Wait, we can chop down this tree, huh? Can't help but admire the stoutness of this tree. It will take more than a primitive saw to fell this noble plant. Hmm. So, we know exactly how to make an axe with the tutorial. But in the story mode, our character, as of right now, does not have any knowledge of how to craft anything. So that's not going to help at all. Let's pick up this wand of wood. What's in here? This is uh, berries. We can go in and just eat it. They sure look and smell delicious. He said the same thing about the red ones. Um, we're going to eat it, and looks like it's good. Looks good. Okay. Oh, looks like there's more left. Okay, there's another tree down here. This is a uh, mushroom. Oh, no. Okay, here's what I'm, you know, I was talking about. Mushrooms. Alright, we're gonna take a chance. We're gonna eat it. Huh, okay, it helped out. Mmm, earthy, with the hints of candy floss. Use item on that tree? No, we cannot. Um, okay, so we can go ahead and chop this tree down. Actually, let's inspect it. Um, okay, it's gonna give me wood. And it's also going to give me whatever is in its tree branches there. It looks like berries. More food. Let's cut it. And I'm not, you know, I'm not um, afraid to uh, use up all the, um, in the little spines here because there's more right here. So we didn't cut it. Oops, I dropped it by accident. Um, I need to freaking make sure I use the correct buttons for this. So S is to use. So I'm going to use it. So it's chopping and you can see it's slowly, slowly eating away my stamina. Okay. Um, I don't even know if it's worth doing this. I'm doing it anyway. I'm doing it anyway. Okay. Okay, so I think this might be the last tree I, I probably pick up. Okay, let's pick this up. Um, woodlets. Oh, yeah, we need woodlets. That's right, we need woodlets. Okay, this is another berry. We'll go ahead and eat this. Use. Perfect. Now we need to pick up this other woodlet. Um, okay, so I, I, I can't like swap out items. I have to go back in my inventory and actually drop something. So let's drop this, drop this, and then we're going to pick up the woodlets. So that's two woodlets. We're good for the night. Um, now let's explore a little bit more and see if we can find anything, like anything to eat. Anything more? Inspect. Inspect this. A small tree. No, a small tree in the background. Ooh. So the thing on the bottom isn't moving, right? Time isn't moving? have to make sure. 
So we're gonna. Ooh, it's a deer. Oh, he left, he, he left pretty fast. All right. Okay. Oh boy, these berries sure look delicious. Well, Rush, eat it. Nom 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 nom. Mmm, berry hashdy. All right. Whoa. Um, the light seems to be getting a little more purplish. Pick up. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll pick up that one. So we got woodlets and twigs. Okay, so if we do chop that tree down, it's going to give us um, berries. I wonder if we explore this place later on, like the next day, is it going to give us, um, you know, more berries or is it f good? Is it full enough? I think we're going to go ahead and move on to... Um, okay, so we're, let's head back. Okay, let's head back. And we're going to put down whatever I have in my inventory, drop it right here. Now, okay, so everything is still there. That's good. So, okay. So, visiting back here does not actually take up any time. I can come back here and put stuff away. It looks like, anyway. I can inspect. Okay. Okay. So, let's go ahead and empty out my inventory. So, just drop everything. Drop, 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 drop. Perfect. Now, let's move on to the next area. Okay. So, let's explore this one. So, you can see if I... Yeah, the exploration thing on the right, it says exactly how much time passes. This is like half a day or like half an hour. Let's explore this one directly above us. Woo! Oh, it's so bright! Uh, oh my eyes! Oh. oh, you can see my guy all the way down there. I didn't even notice that. Golly, I've been scouting for hours but can't find a pickle. The nightly curtain draws them too. I should head back. Oh, uh, there's nothing here? So I, I didn't find nothing. Uh, okay, let's, let's look over here. Oh, wait. Oh, time's almost up, so it's sending me back home. Huh. Alright, so... Uh, okay, it's scripted, I think. No? Alright, well, let's go ahead and pick up the woodlets. And this should be enough for tonight, right? Use item. Use the woodlets. Oops, I freaking dropped it again. Let's use the item correctly. Use. Ah, toasty tootsies. But for uh, snugglies and hankers of stoking, let's use another one. Okay. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and um, sleep it off and see what happens. Huh. Echo of the Wilds. What do you guys think of this game? What's going on? Uh. Awaken. Awaken. What's gonna happen? Guess what? We're gonna find out in the next episode. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so this was the first episode of Echoes of the Wilds. Echo of the Wilds. Um, I guess we could turn this into a series. I'm really curious to see exactly you know, how my character progresses, all the randomness that can happen. So, um, tell me, what do you guys think about the game? Are you are you excited as I am to see exactly what happens? Have you heard of it? Uh, please, no spoilers, but is this game good? So, if you enjoyed, leave a like. It helps so much. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I upload a lot of daily videos. What are you waiting for? And um, help my channel grow if you want by sharing it with your friends, posting it anywhere you can on the internet. I'd seriously, seriously appreciate it. And, uh, yes, that's it. See you guys next time.